British Leyland was an automotive engineering and manufacturing conglomerate formed in the United Kingdom in 1968 as British Leyland Motor Corporation Limited, following the merger of Leyland Motors and British Motor Holdings. It was partly nationalised in 1975, when the UK government created a holding company called British Leyland, later BL, in 1978. It incorporated much of the British-owned motor vehicle industry, which constituted 40% of the UK car market, with routes going back to 1895. Despite containing profitable marks such as Jaguar, Rover and Land Rover, as well as the best-selling Mini, British Leyland had a troubled history. In 1986 it was renamed as the Rover Group, later to become MG Rover Group, which went into administration in 2005, bringing mass car production by British-owned manufacturers to an end. MG in the Austin, Morris and Wolseley marks became part of China's SAIC, with whom MG Rover attempted to merge prior to administration. Today, Mini, Jaguar Land Rover and Leyland trucks are the three most prominent former parts of British Leyland which are still active in the automotive industry, with SAIC-owned MG Motor continuing a small presence at the Long Bridge site. Certain other related XBL businesses, such as Unipart, continue to operate independently. History BLMC was created in 1968 by the merger of British Motor Holdings and Leyland Motor Corporation, encouraged by Tony Benn as chairman of the Industrial Reorganization Committee created by the Wilson government. At the time, LMC was a successful manufacturer, while BMH was perilously close to collapse. The government was hopeful LMC's expertise would revive the ailing BMH and effectively create a British General Motors. The merger combined most of the remaining independent British car manufacturing companies and included car, bus and truck manufacturers and more diverse enterprises including construction equipment, refrigerators, metal casting companies, road surface manufacturers. In all, nearly 100 different companies. The new corporation was arranged into seven divisions under its new chairman, Sir Donald Stokes. While BMH was the UK's largest car manufacturer, it offered a range of dated vehicles, including the Morris Minor which was introduced in 1948 and the Austin Cambridge and Morris Oxford, which dated back to 1959. After the merger, Lord Stokes was horrified to find that BMH had no plans to replace these elderly designs. Also, BMH's design efforts immediately prior to the merger had focused on unfortunate niche market models such as the Austin Marxi and the Austin 3 liter, a car with no discernible place in the market. BMH had produced several successful cars, such as the Mini in the Austin Morris 1100-1300 range. While these cars had been advanced at the time of their introduction, the Mini was not highly profitable and the 1100-1300 was facing more modern competition. The lack of attention to development of new mass-market models meant that BMH had nothing in the way of new models in the pipeline to compete effectively with popular rivals such as Ford's Escort and Cortina. Immediately, Lord Stokes instigated plans to design and introduce new models quickly. The first result of this crash program was the Morris Marina in early 1971. It used parts from various BL models with new body work to produce BL's mass market competitor. It was one of the strongest selling cars in Britain during the 1970s, although by the end of production in 1980 it was widely regarded as a dismal product that had damaged the company's reputation. The Austin Allegro, launched in 1973, earned a similarly unwanted reputation over its 10-year production life. The company became an infamous monument to the industrial turmoil that plagued Britain in the 1970s. Industrial action instigated by militant shop stewards frequently brought BL's manufacturing capability to its knees. Despite the duplication of production facilities as a result of the merger, there were multiple single points of failure in the company's production network which meant that a strike in a single plant could stop many of the others. Both Ford and General Motors had mitigated against this years before by merging their previously separate British and German subsidiaries and product lines, so that production could be sourced from either British or continental European plants in the event of industrial unrest. The upshot was that both Ford and Vauxhall ultimately overtook BL to become Britain's two best-selling marks, a title they hold to the present day. 
At the same time, a tide of Japanese imports, spearheaded by Nissan and Toyota exploited both BL's inability to supply its customers and its declining reputation for quality. By the end of the 1970s, the British government had introduced protectionist measures in the form of import quotas on Japanese manufacturers in order to protect the ailing domestic producers, which it was helping to sustain. At its peak, BLMC owned almost 40 manufacturing plants across the country. Even before the merger BMH had included theoretically competing marks that were in fact selling substantially similar badge-engineered cars. The British Motor Corporation had never successfully integrated the former Austin and Morris dealer networks, which had led to a plethora of badge-engineered models of otherwise identical cars so that each network would have a product to sell. This meant that Austin and Morris still, to an extent, competed with each other and meant that each product was saddled with effectively twice the marketing and distribution costs that it would have if sold under a single name. BMC had even carried out very little in the way of dealer rationalization, many small towns still had separate Austin and Morris outlets, which were then joined by former rivals such as Triumph and Rover once British Leyland was formed. BMH and Leyland Motors had expanded and acquired companies throughout the 1950s and 1960s in order to compete with one another, with the result that when the two conglomerates were brought together into BL there was even more internal competition. Rover competed with Jaguar at the expensive end of the market, and Triumph with its family cars and sports cars against Austin, Morris and MG. Individual model lines that were similarly sized were therefore competing against each other, yet were never discontinued nor were model ranges rationalized quickly enough. In fact the policy of having multiple models competing in the same market segment continued long after the merger. For instance BMH's MGB remained in production alongside LMC's Triumph Trail 6, whilst in the medium family sector, the Princess was in direct competition with upscale versions of the Morris Marina and cheaper versions of the Austin Marxi, meaning that economies of scale resulting from large production runs could never be realized. In addition, in consequent attempts to establish British Leyland as a brand in consumers' minds in and outside the UK, print ads and spots were produced causing confusion rather than attraction for buyers. BL marketing and management attempted to draw more obvious distinctions between the marks, most notable was the decision to pitch Morris as a maker of conventional mass market cars to compete with Ford and Vauxhall and Austin to continue BMC's line of advanced family cars with front-wheel drive and fluid suspension. This resulted in the Morris Marina and the Austin Allegro. The policy's success was mixed. Since the dealership network was still not sufficiently rationalized it meant that Austin and Morris dealers had their product range halved and found that they could no longer cater to many previously loyal customers' tastes. The policy was also carried out haphazardly. the advanced, Hydrager's Sprung Princess began life in 1975 sold as in Austin, a Morris and a Wolseley before being rebadged altogether under the new Princess name. The Princess was sold across the Austin Morris dealership network making any distinction between the two even more vague to many customers. These internal issues, which were never satisfactorily solved, combined with serious industrial relations problems, the 1973 oil crisis, the three-day week, high inflation, and ineffectual management meant that BL became an unmanageable and financially crippled Bayer Moth which went bankrupt in 1975. 1970s restructuring equals Sir Don Ryder was asked to undertake an inquiry into the position of the company, and his report, the Ryder Report, was presented to the government in April 1975. Following the report's recommendations, the organization was drastically restructured and the Labour government took control by creating a new holding company British Leyland Limited of which the government was the major shareholder, effectively nationalizing the company. Between 1975 and 1980 these shares were vested in the National Enterprise Board which had responsibility for managing this investment. The company was now organized into the following four divisions, Leyland Cars a Euro the largest car manufacturer in the UK, employing some 128,000 people at 36 locations, and with a production capacity of 1 million vehicles per year. Leyland Truck and Bus a Euro the largest commercial and passenger vehicle manufacturer in the UK, employing 31,000 people at 12 locations, 
producing 38,000 trucks, 8,000 buses and 19,000 tractors per year. The tractors were based on the Nuffield designs, but built in a plant in Bathgate, Scotland. Leyland Special Products a Euro The miscellaneous collection of other acquired businesses, itself structured into five subdivisions, construction equipment a Euro Aveling Barford, Aveling Marshall, Barfords of Belton and Goodwin Barsby, refrigeration a Euro Pressed Cold, materials handling a Euro Coventry Climax, military vehicles a Euro Alvis and self-changing gears, print a Euro Nuffield Press and Line and Sun. Leyland International a Euro responsible for the export of cars, trucks and buses, and responsible for manufacturing plants in Africa, India and Australia, employing 18,000 people. There was positive news for BL at the end of 1976 when its new Rover ST1 executive car was voted European Car of the Year, having gained plaudits for its innovative design. The SD1 was actually the first step that British Leyland took towards rationalizing its passenger car ranges, as it was a single car replacing two cars competing in the same sector, the Rover P6 and Triumph 2000. More positive news for the company came at the end of 1976 with the approval by Industry Minister Eric Varley of AA £140 million investment of public money in refitting the Longbridge plant for production of the company's AD088 model due for launch in 1979. However, poor results from customer clinics of the AD088, coupled with the UK success of the Ford Fiesta, launched in 1976, forced a snap redesign of AD088 which evolved into the LC8 project, eventually launched as the Austin Mini Metro in 1980. In 1977 Sir Michael Edwards was appointed chief executive by the NEB and Leyland Cars was split up into Austin Morris and Jaguar Rover Triumph. Austin Morris included MG. Land Rover and Range Rover were later separated from JRT to form the Land Rover Group. JRT later split up into Rover Triumph and Jaguar Car Holdings. BLCV. In 1978 the company formed a new group for its commercial vehicle interests, BL Commercial Vehicles under managing director David Abel. The following companies moved under this new umbrella, Leyland Vehicles Limited, Alvis Limited, Coventry Climax, Self-Changing Gears Limited, BLCV and the Land Rover Group later merged to become Land Rover Leyland. BL Limited, in 1979 British Leyland Limited was renamed to simply BL Limited and its subsidiary which acted as a holding company for all the other companies within the group the British Leyland Motor Corporation Limited to BLMC Limited. BL's fortunes took another much-awaited rise in October 1980 with the launch of the Austin Metro, a modern three-door hatchback which gave buyers a more modern and practical alternative to the iconic but aging Mini. This went on to be one of the most popular cars in Britain of the 1980s. Towards the final stages of the Metro's development, BL entered into an alliance with Honda to provide a new mid-range model which would replace the aging Triumph Dolomite, but would more crucially act as a stopgap until the Austin Maestro and Montego were ready for launch. This car would emerge as the Triumph Acclaim in 1981 and would be the first of a long line of collaborative models jointly developed between BL and Honda. By 1982 the BL Cars Limited division renamed itself Austin Rover Group, shortly before the launch of the Maestro and Michael Edwards was replaced by Harold Musgrove as chairman and chief executive. Jaguar and Daimler remained in a separate company called Jaguar Car Holdings, but were later sold off and privatized in 1984. A rationalization of the model ranges also took place around this time. In 1980, British Leyland was still producing four cars in the large family car sector a Euro the Princess II, Austin Marxi, Morris Marina and Triumph Dolomite. The Marina became the idol in August 1980 following a superficial facelift, and a year later the Princess II received a major upgrade to become the Austin Ambassador meaning that the 1982 range had just two competitors in this sector. In April 1984, these cars were discontinued to make way for a single all-new model, the Austin Montego. The Triumph Acclaim was replaced in that same year by another Honda-based product a Euro the Rover 200 series. Equals Jaguar sale equals. In 1984 Jaguar cars became independent once more, through a public sale of its shares. 
Ford subsequently acquired Jaguar. In 1986 BL changed its name to Rover Group and in 1987 the trucks division of Euro Leyland Vehicles merged with a Dutch DAF company to form DAFNB, trading as Leyland DAF in the UK and as DAF in the Netherlands. In 1987 the bus business was spun off into a new company called Leyland Bus. This was the result of a management buyout who decided to sell the company to the bus and truck division of Volvo in 1988. Equals Rover Group Sale Equals In 1986 Graham Day took the helm as chairman and CEO and the third joint Rover Honda vehicle a Euro the Rover 800 series a Euro was launched which replaced the 10-year-old Rover SD1. That same year, the British government controversially tried to reprivatize and sell off Land Rover. However this plan was later abandoned. 1987 saw the Austin name dropped on the Metro, Maestro and Montego, signaling the end for the historic Austin mark, in a push to focus on the more prestigious Rover badge. In 1988 the business was sold by the British government to British Aerospace, and shortly after shortened its name to just Rover Group. They subsequently sold the business to BMW, which, after initially seeking to retain the whole business, decided to only retain the Cowley operations for mini-production and close the Longbridge factory. Longbridge, along with the Rover and MG Marks, was taken on by MG Rover which went into administration in April 2005. Many of the brands were divested over time and continue to exist on the books of several companies to this day. Equals Ashok Leyland equals The Leyland name and logo continues as a recognized and respected mark across India, the wider subcontinent and parts of Africa in the form of Ashok Leyland. Part of the giant Hindu Jha group, Ashok Leyland manufactures buses, trucks, defense vehicles and engines. The company is a leader in the heavy transportation sector within India and has an aggressive expansionary policy. Ironically, since 1987, when the London-based Hindu Jha group bought the Indian-based Ashok Leyland company, it is once again a British-owned brand. Today, Ashok Leyland is pursuing a joint venture with Nissan and through its acquisition of the Czech truck maker, Avia, is entering the European truck market directly. With its purchase, in 2010, of a 25% stake in UK-based bus manufacturer Optair, Ashok Leyland has taken a step closer to reconnecting with its British heritage, as Optair is a direct descendant of Leyland's UK bus making division. British Leyland also provided the technical know-how and the rights to their Leyland 28 bhp tractor for Auto Tractors Limited, a tractor plant in Pratapka, Uttar Pradesh. Established in 1981 with state support, ATL only managed to build 2,380 tractors by the time the project was ended in 1990, less than the planned production for the first two years. The project ended up being taken over by C. Pani, who kept producing tractor engines and also a small number of tractors with some modest success. Timelines equals Notes for the timeline table equals, The car brands of BSA were divested, BSA was not merged into Jaguar. Mini was not originally a mark in its own right. See Mini and Mini for more detail. The BMC trademark is registered to MG Rover Group Limited in the UK. BMC is also the name of a commercial vehicle manufacturer in Turkey, formerly the Turkish subsidiary of the British Motor Corporation. It is believed that Nanjing Automotive may have purchased this from MG Rover, however, the brand has not been reassigned as of July 17, 2006. The Wolseley trademark is registered to MG Rover Group Limited for automobiles only. It is believed that Nanjing Automotive may have purchased this from MG Rover, however the brand has not been reassigned as of July 2006 to a different company. The UK building material supplier Wolseley PLC owns the rights to the Wolseley name for all other purposes. Wolseley PLC is a descendant of the original Wolseley company. The Vanden Plaas trademark is owned by Ford for use within the USA and Canada, and as to MG Rover Group Limited for use in the rest of the world. It is believed that Nanjing Automotive may have purchased this from MG Rover, however the trademark has not been recorded as reassigned as of July 17, 2006. This is why Jaguar XJ Vanden Plaas models are branded as Daimlers in Britain. The last Rover to use the Vanden Plaas name was the Rover 75 Vanden Plaas, 
a long wheelbase limousine model. The Rover trademark was owned by BMW and was only licensed to MG Rover Group Limited. BMW sold the brand to Ford in September 2006. Alvis was purchased from British Leyland by United Scientific Holdings PLC in 1981. In 2002 Alvis merged with part of Vickers Defense Systems to form Alvis Vickers which was purchased by BAE Systems in 2004. BAE Systems did not acquire Alvis through their ownership of the Rover Group in the early 1990s. Production of Alvis branded cars ceased in 1967. The trademark is owned by Alvis Vehicles Limited. The use of the Triumph name as a trademark for vehicles is shared between BMW and Triumph Motorcycles Limited. The former for automobiles and the latter for motorcycles. The motorcycle and car business separated in the 1930s. Equals merged companies equals, the car firms which eventually merged to form the company are as follows. The dates given are those of the first car of each name, but these are often debatable as each car may be several years in development. 1895 Wilsley Motors, 1896 Lanchester Motor Company, 1896 Leyland Motors Limited, 1896 Daimler, 1898 Riley, 1899 Albion, 1903 Standard Motor Company, 1904 Rover, 1905 Austin, 1912 Morris, 1913 Vanden Plaus, 1919 Alvis, 1923 Milligrams created by Morris, 1923 Triumph Motor Company, 1924 BSA used as a car brand, 1935 Jaguar, 1947 Land Rover created by Rover, 1952 Austin Healey created by Austin Division of BMC, 1959 Mini, the car initially launched as the Austin 7 and Morris Mini Minor became popularly known just as the Mini and BMC recognized this by rebadging the Austin as the Austin Mini. British Leyland deleted both mark names from the car and creating Mini as a mark in its own right in 1969. Equals other merger events equals, several of these names are now in other hands. The history of the mergers and other key events is as follows, 1910 Daimler merged with a BSA car armaments and motor bikes engineering company BSA, 1931 Lanchester purchased by BSA Daimler, 1938 Morris Motors purchases Wilsley and Riley and from 1943 they are jointly referred to as the Nuffield Organization, 1944 Standard acquires Triumph, forming Standard Triumph, 1946 Austin acquires Vanden Plaus, 1951 Leyland Motors purchase the share capital of Albion Motors, 1952 Morris and Austin merge to form the British Motor Corporation. 1955 Leyland Motors acquires Scamell Lorries Limited of Watford. 1960 Jaguar buys Daimler for the latter's production facilities. 1961 Leyland Motors acquires Standard Triumph. 1962 Leyland Motors acquires ACV, the renamed AC Company. 1963 Jaguar acquires the engine and forklift truck manufacturing company Coventry Climax. 1965 Rover acquires Alvis. 1966 Jaguar merged into BMC. 1966 BMC changes its name to British Motor Holdings, 1967 Leyland absorbs Rover, 1968 Leyland merges with British Motor Holdings to form the British Leyland Motor Corporation, 1969 joint venture with the National Bus Company to build Leyland National Buses, and also to continue the manufacture of Bristol Buses and Eastern Coach Works bodies previously built by the NBC, 1970s majority stake in. Danish partner DAB, to form Leyland DAB, producer of the Leyland DAB articulated bus, 1972 BLMC takes control of Innocenti, 1974 cessation of production of cars in Australia, 1975 publication of the Rider Report, British Leyland effectively was nationalised due to financial difficulties, with formation of new holding company, British Leyland Limited, later BLPLC, with the government as the principal shareholder, 1977 Michael Edwards appointed as chairman by Labour government. Begins massive cull of excess BL assets, 1982 BL buys out the National Bus Company from the bus plant joint venture. Equals divestments equals, 1969 the last Riley Elf, 1300, and 4-72 models were built, thus ending the Riley mark.
1975 Innocenti passed to Alejandro de Tomaso, 1975 The final Wolseley, a saloon, is built, thus ending the Wolseley mark, 1978 A further reorganization sees Land Rover being separated from Rover, and established as a standalone company within BL. Leyland Cars Limited is renamed BL Cars Limited, and is split into two divisions, Austin Morris and Jaguar Rover Triumph. 1979 Collaboration with Honda Begins, Sacking of Derek Robinson, 1978 Closure of Triumph Assembly Plant and Speaker Euro Production Move to Canley, 1980 Closure of MG and Triumph Assembly Plants in Abingdon and Canley, 1980 Vanden Plaza is discontinued as a mark name but remains as a trim level name on selected models of other marks, 1981 Closure of Rover Triumph Plant in Solihull. 1981 Alvis sold to United. Scientific Holdings and Alvis PLC formed, 1982 The Primus Mark, launched in 1975, is discontinued, 1982 Michael Edwards steps down as chairman. BL Cars Limited renamed Austin Rover Group, 1982 Leyland Tractors sold to Marshall Tractors, tractor production at Bathgate Assembly Plant ends. 1982 Production of British Leyland Cars ceases in New Zealand, 1983 Closure of Bristol Bus Plant, production transferred to Leyland National Plant at Workington, 1984 Morris Ittle goes out of production, signalling the end of the Morris badge, 1984 Jaguar floated off. Bought by Ford in 1989, 1984 Final Triumph Acclaim rolls off the production line, ending the Triumph name. 1985 Closure of Bathgate Truck Assembly Plant Bathgate narrowly avoided a shutdown in 1981, but instead became responsible for engine production and export market trucks. Leyland's truck exports then proceeded to collapse as oil prices dropped, making the end inevitable. 1986 BLPLC renamed Rover Group, Austin badges disappear the following year, 1986 Leyland bus floated off. Bought by Volvo in 1988, 1987 Leyland Trucks Division merged with DAF to form DAF NV Leyland DAF. Vans became independent as LDV in 1993, as did Trucks as Leyland Trucks. Leyland Trucks was taken over by US giant Packer in 1998 and integrated with Fodden. 1987 Unipart, BL Spare Parts Division, acquired by management by Out. 1988 Rover Group privatized. Sold to British Aerospace, 1994 Rover Group sold to BMW, collaboration with Honda ends, 1994 Maestro and Montego go out of production. 1998 Metro 100 series goes out of production a Euro the last of the former Austin models. 2000 BMW decides to break up and sell the Rover Empire. Land Rover sold to Ford. 2000 BMW Mini, Triumph, and Riley trademarks retained by BMW, but BMW's other interests sold off, 2000 remainder of company became independent as the MG Rover Group, 2007 mg Rover goes into administration with huge debts, and its assets are taken over by Nanjing Automobile, 2007 SAIC takes over NAC and relaunches production at Longbridge. 2006 Ford acquires the rights to the Rover brand name from BMW, though without any immediate plans for using it on production cars. 2008 Ford completes the sale of Jaguar, Rover and Land Rover to Tata Motors, of India. Equals notable BL and BMC and related models equals. 1948 Land Rover, 1948 Morris Minor, 1952 Rover 90, 1952 Morris Oxford Missouri, 1954 Austin Cambridge, 1959 Triumph Herald, 1959 Austin Gypsy, 1959 Mini, 1961 Jaguar E-Type, 1961 Riley Alf, 1961 Wolseley Hornet, 1961 Austin Healy Sprite, 1961 Milligrams Midget, 1962 Triumph Spitfire, 1962 Morris 1100, 1962 Milligrams MGB, 1963 Triumph 2000, 1964 Mini Moke, 1964 Austin 1800, slash 2200, 1964 Rover 2000, 1968 Jaguar XJ6, 1969 Austin Marxy, 1970 Triumph Dolomite.
1970 Triumph Toledo, 1970 Range Rover, 1971 Morris Marina, 1971 Triumph Stag, 1973 Austin Allegro, 1973 Leyland P76, 1975 Princess, 1975 Triumph Trail 7, 1975 Jaguar XJS, 1976 A Euro 1987, Rover SD1, 1980 Euro 1990, Austin Metro, 1980 Euro 1984, Morris Ittle. 1981 Triumph Acclaim, 1982 Austin Ambassador, 1983 Austin Maestro, 1984 Austin Montego, 1984 Rover 200 Series, 1986 Rover 800 Series Sterling. Equals competing models equals, in some cases, British Leyland continued to produce competing models from the merged companies at different sites for many years. However, any benefits from the broader number of models were far outweighed by higher development costs and greatly reduced economies of scale. Sadly, potential benefits associated with rationalizing parts usage were lost, as for example, the company made two completely different 1.3-litre engines, two different 1.5-litre engines, four different 2-litre engines and two completely different V8 engines. Examples of competing cars were, Morris Minor and Austin A40-Austin 1100, Austin 1300 and Triumph Herald Triumph Toledo, Morris Marina, Austin Allegro, and Triumph Dolomite, Triumph 2000, Rover 2000, and Princess, Triumph Spitfire. MG Midget and Austin Healy Sprite Triumph Trail 6 slash Triumph Trail 7 and MG MGB, Rover 3500 and Jaguar XJ6. Equals badge engineered models equals, in contrast to the continued development of competing models, British Leyland continued the practice of badge engineering of models which had started under BMC. Selling essentially the same vehicle under two different marks. Riley 1.5 Wilsley 1500 mg Magnet Zorilsley 444 mg Magnet ZB Wilsley 15 50 Morris Oxford MO Wilsley 4 50 Morris 6 Wilsley 6 80 Austin A99 Westminster Wilsley 6 99 Austin A110 Westminster Wilsley 6 110 Austin 1800 slash Morris 1800 slash Wilsley 18 85 Austin 2200 slash Morris 2200 slash Wilsley 6, Austin A55 Cambridge MG Magnet MK. 3 Morris Oxford V Riley 4 Wilsley 15 slash 60, Austin A60 Cambridge MG Magnet MK. 4 Morris Oxford Varina 6 Riley 4 Wilsley 16 slash 60, Riley Pathfinder Riley 2.6 Wilsley 6 slash 90, Austin Say 7N Morris Mini Minor. Morris Mini Traveller Austin Mini Countryman, Riley Elf Wilsley Hornet, Austin 1100 slash Austin 1300 slash Morris 1100 slash Morris 1300 per milligram 1100 slash Riley Kestrel Riley 1300 slash Vanden Plaas Princess Wilsley 1100, Austin Healy Sprite MG Midget. Factories. Equals Volume Car Production Plants equals, Abingdon, Oxfordshire. The MG Sports Car Plant. Closed in 1980. Birmingham Adderley Park. Originally the main Wilsley Assembly Plant, then the main Morris Commercial Assembly Plant, latterly for vans only. Closed in 1972, when van assembly transferred to nearby Common Lane. Birmingham Aquox Green, Rover Engine and Transmissions Plant, Birmingham Castle Bromwich, former Fisher and Ludlow Body Plant, acquired by BMC in 1953. Functioned as body plant for Mini and Jaguar models, employing C9000 workers in the 1970s, plant taken over completely by Jaguar in 1977, and became the main Jaguar assembly plant after the closure of the Browns Lane Coventry plant in 2005. The plant still employs 2,000 workers. Birmingham Drews Lane slash Common Lane. Also known as the Ward End Works. The plant dates from 1913 and was built by Electric and Ordnance Accessories, a subsidiary of Vickers. Was then a Wilsley assembly plant, later a component plant, and in 1968 the Austin Morris Division's transmission plant. In 1972 it became BLMC's main van assembly plant. 
ban production was suspended in 2008 and did not resume, due to the collapse of the LDV Group. Birmingham Garrison Street, Bordesley Green, C800 Workers Making Triumph Components. Closed, Birmingham Longbridge. Originally the Austin plant, and at one time the largest manufacturing plant in the world. The largest British car plant in the 1970s, employing C25,000 workers and famous as the home of the Mini. Closed upon the collapse of MG Rover in 2005. Success in Orangeing has restarted limited car assembly on a much smaller scale for the MGTF. Birmingham SU Carburettors. Bought by Morris and established at Washerwood Heath, making fuel pumps and carburettors. Closed early 1980s, Birmingham Tysley, Rover engine and transmission plant, employing C4000 workers in the 1970s. Closed mid 1980s, Cardiff. Opened by Rover in 1964 to manufacture transmissions and axles for Rover and Land Rover vehicles. Closed in November 1984, following major rationalization of production facilities within the Austin Rover Group. All facilities corresponding to Land Rover output were transferred to Solihull East Works on cessation of Rover SD1 production. Cowley, Oxfordshire formerly comprising the main Morris plant and the pressed steel body plant, and one of the largest British car production sites throughout the BLMC era. In 1993 the original Morris plant was sold to developers and demolished, with car production being concentrated on the former pressed steel site which is now owned by BMW and used for assembly of the modern Mini. Coventry Courthouse Green Engine Plant Formerly Morris Engines Limited Closed late 1981. The original Gosford Street building is now the Coventry University Business School's William Morris Building. Coventry Browns Lane. Originally a World War II shadow factory, built for Daimler, which subsequently became the M Main Jaguar assembly plant. Closed by Ford in 2005. Coventry Canley. Originally owned by Standard, latterly the main Triumph car plant and the largest factory in the city. Closed in 1980. Coventry Radford. Former Daimler plant. Bus chassis assembly transferred to Leyland 1973, subsequently the Jaguar engine and axle plant. Closed by Ford in the late 1990s. Leicester Rearsby Components Plant, formerly the assembly plant for Oster Aircraft. Closed by British Leyland in 1981, subject to a management buyout. Passed to Ed West and closed in 2003. Liverpool Speak. Former Hall Engineering Group car body plant purchased by Standard Triumph in 1959, plus new Triumph assembly plant opened in 1970. Number one plant became the first major British BLMC car assembly plant to close, in 1978. Number two plant continued to produce bodies for assembly at Canyon till closure in 1980. Radiator and pressings plant opened in the early 1960s, employing C4000 workers in the 1970s. Now owned by Calsonic Lanethley Radiators, Solihull, West Midlands. The former Rover plant. A new car assembly line opened in the 1970s but closed 1981. The original plant survives as the home of Land Rover 4x4 vehicles, who are now under Tata Motors ownership. Swindon. Former Pressed Steel Company Bodywork Plant, now owned by BMW for manufacture of mini body panels. Equals Truck and Bus Plants equals, Alcester, Warwickshire. Former Maudslay Plant, latterly making AEC dump trucks. Sold in the early 1970s. Basingstoke, Hampshire. Former Thornycroft Plant, latterly a specialist heavy truck plant. Closed in 1969. Bathgate, West Lothian. A new plant opened by BMC in 1961 to manufacture light trucks and tractors. Tractor assembly ended in 1982, following the sale to Marshall Tractors who transferred production to Gainsborough, Lincolnshire. The truck assembly ceased in 1985, and the plant closed in 1986. Brislington, Bristol. Former Bristol Commercial Vehicles Bus Plant. Initially 25% owned, from 1969 50% owned, 
from 1982 100% owned. Close 1983. Cross Gates, Leeds. Charles H. Robust Body Work Plant. Closed by Leyland in 1984, but reopened in 1985 as Optair Bus Plant. Closed in 2011 when replaced by a new factory at Shiburn in Elmet. Fallings Park, Wolverhampton. Former Guy Truck and Bus Plant. Closed in 1982. Hollyhead Road, Coventry. Former Alvis Plant, latterly producing military vehicles. Closed by Alvis PLC and demolished in 1992. Site now home of Alvis Retail Park. Kingsbury Lane, London. The Vanden Plaza Limousine Factory, latterly used to assemble the Daimler DS420. Closed in 1979. Leyland, Lancashire. Former Leyland Motors Truck and Bus Plant. Bus production ceased 1991. Truck manufacture continues under Packer ownership. Lily Hall, Cumbria. Bus plant opened 1970, initially as a joint venture between BLMC and the National Bus Company to build the Leyland National Bus. Closed by Volvo 1993. Lowestoft, Suffolk. Eastern Coach Works Bus Body Work Plant, initially 25% owned, from 1969 50% owned, from 1982 100% owned. Closed 1986. Park Royal, London. Park Royal Vehicles Bus Body Work Plant. Closed 1980. Scottsdown, Glasgow. Former Albion Truck and Bus Plant. Vehicle assembly ceased 1980, but became an axle plant. Now owned by AAM. Southall, London. Former AEC Bus and Truck Plant. Closed 1979. Watford, Hertfordshire. Former Scamell Plant Building Specialist Heavy Trucks. Closed 1988. See also, Leyland Motors Limited a Euro predecessor of BLMC. The article also describes the commercial vehicles produced by British Leyland, Ashok Leyland, Rover Group, MG Rover Group, Nationalized Industries. References, Notes. General. How Billions Failed to Fix UK's Car Industry CNN's European Political Editor Robin Oakley, CNN, November 20, 2008. Access November 2008. External links, model by model history.